Hi, this is Nitin from uh, Dallas office V6 News. Um, today we have uh, Kelly and Sam who have uh, visited our office and probably they're going to speak about Trump and Trump's administration. We're just hearing them for the voice of America. Um, hi, Kelly. Hi. First of all, thank you for coming to our office. Of course, and no thank problem. you, Sam. That's thank important. You. So we would like to know how you feel that after uh, the president has taken the new office, mm -hmm. what do you think? Uh, uh, would he live up to his promises and uh, what do you have about him? I mean, he was a businessman, he right. is a businessman mm -hmm. and he's new to politics. So as a president, what are you hoping from him? I am not a Trump supporter and I have hope that he will do things that will better America. However, I have a lot of concerns uh, moving into the administration because um, I think that because the left and the right are so polarized at this moment that there's going to be a lot of divisive uh, conflict that will occur, especially when he's first starting. You know, as of right now, um, we're starting to see, you know, like Senator Elizabeth Warren speaking up during uh, during the Senate uh, in a way that is kind of opposed to how most of those Senate re meetings are run. And I think that we're going to continue to see a lot of things that are unexpected from the administration. Um, like that and just from both sides of, of the coin we're seeing a lot of people who are very far right um, who are giving a lot of pushback to the people who are on the left who are out in the streets protesting on a daily basis um, I'm hoping that this divisiveness will lead to us having to find a way to bring the two sides together better because at this stage it seems like there's gonna be a bit of conflict in the beginning and I'm just hoping that um, through having to resolve that conflict, hopefully we can bring something better. How Thank you, Katie. Uh, how about you, Sam? Do you have any views about the same questions? Not like Kaylee, I was a Trump supporter, and I supported Trump just because I was not going to support Hillary Clinton. So in the past, I think that Barack Obama focused a lot on social issues instead of issues that really mattered to Americans like myself, like as in taxes, schools, stuff like that. Um, so I did vote for Trump. He has done a few things that have been very upsetting with, um, throughout his election, the things that came out about the things he said about women. Um, and also, he needs to get off his Twitter, for sure, and focus a lot more on um, fixing America versus just upsetting people. The protests are getting a little out of control. People need to stop and rally behind him and hope for what's best for America instead of fighting him for the next four years. We need to come together and do what's best. The new president has given a lot of uh, promises to Americans mm -hmm. during his election time uh, and now it's the time that he actually has to fulfill most of them or all of them. How do you see what is going to come up and what is not going to come up? What are, you, what, are, what are your views on it? So I think that he is going to do his best to show his constituents that he is attempting to fulfill all of those promises and is going to do everything in his power to do so. Do I believe that his power extends as far as he believes it does? No. Do I think that he's going to accomplish all the things that he said he would? No. Do I hope he will? No. But um, I, I do... Uh, as we've seen him come into power, I, I have been a bit surprised that uh, he has gone as far as he has in approve or in changing as many of the things that he's mentioned, you know, especially during his rallies um, with his constituents. I'm surprised he's been able to get so far in accomplishing those things and has been as persistent. So because of that, I think that he's going to do everything he can to show that he is trying, um, which is what most people want. They want to see somebody who can come in and and disrupt the system as it is today. And, and that's you know what he's going to be able to give them. Um, and I don't necessarily think that he even wants all of the things that he talked about. I think he knew that a lot of the people who elected him would want those things. And I think he's going to try to show those people that he's going to try to get them. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I don't know what he will be able to accomplish. And I don't think that he'll be able to accomplish as much as he does either. So as a strong uh, Trump supporter, uh, what do you think? Well, I think in Trump's first just week, honestly, he did a ton of things that he promised Americans, and people are shocked by it because we've been always promised things by all these um, elected officials, and they never live up to it. So that was a shock. That was part of all the protest. Um, 
but I think that he is going to do his best, especially with trade, regulations, bringing jobs to America. And I really think that having Ivanka in the office so close to him is going to be a huge help for women because she is all about like empowering women and um, helping women rise up in the workforce and get really great jobs and do well for themselves. So do I think he's going to lead up to or lead up do everything that he said he was going to do? No, probably not because he does have a lot of people fighting him, but I think he's on the right track. What are your opinions and views on these immigration reforms? I think that the problems that the Trump administration and his constituents are trying to solve with these reforms are not going to be solved with these reforms. And I think that in general, uh, the types of, you know, this immigration ban, let's call it what they call it in the news. Um, so I don't think that that is going to solve any of the problems that they think it's going to solve. I think the, the problem that it solves for Trump is that it gets people to, again, recognize that he's attempting to do something about a problem that presidents in the past have attempted to solve but haven't been able to do. And he's doing it in the loudest, most public way possible um, to make himself look good and to make the administration look good. And maybe his heart is in the right place. I don't truly know. You know, I and you know, it's funny because Trump historically dem was a very democratic person, you know, in his past and actually supported Hillary Clinton. So we don't know what he really believes. Um, I think that what they're trying to accomplish is to show Americans that we're doing something on this war on terror. Do I think that uh, banning immigrants from those seven countries is going to accomplish anything? No, I think it's going to have the opposite effect. I think that it's going to feed right back into um, the problems that we're having. And I think that, that people who are in countries that are vulnerable like that are going to use this and the the leaders in these countries who are actually radicalizing um, people who are Islamic are going to use this as yet another reason to come against America and to just f adding fuel to the fire. I think it's absolutely going to have the opposite effect. And in terms of the, the border wall to Mexico, I think it's a complete waste of time to even be talking about. Um, I don't see any purpose. I think that uh, the... the uh, underlying reasons behind why he started talking about that is kind of capitalizing on people's natural predilection to be racist to people who look different than them and that's my belief and I don't think that that building a wall is going to do anything I don't think he's going to accomplish it I think it's a waste of time to talk about so what are your opinions on the same I actually agree with Kaylee on this um, I do agree with her because the immigration, just banning people, is just completely uncalled for. We need to make it easier for people to come to America the right way, for sure. They, we don't need a bunch of people just coming over our borders illegally and then causing, um, causing problems. But just banning people from other countries has definitely scared Americans, I think. And it's come out that um, more people are now scared of people from other countries, and Trump is just ramping that up, the ramping that fear up. And again, like, I don't think he's going to accomplish the wall. He's upsetting the Mexican president and saying that they're going to pay for the wall whenever they're not going to pay for the wall. It's just, it's stupid. Drop the wall. The wall's not going to work. You can always build a bigger ladder. Like, leave it. We need to figure out a better way to allow people to come into America legally and the right way. We have seen a lot of immigrants who've come to America from most of the Southeastern countries, uh, especially India. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of qualified immigrants who have moved here who are non-immigrants initially and then actually attain the status of uh, legal immigrants. Right. So most of them are engineers, doctors, lawyers, I mean you name the field they're there. Mm -hmm. um, and all of them have come to this country legally. Right. Um, how do you feel they being in this country, whether they are either an immigrant or a non-immigrant but legally enter the U.S., how do you feel that they can be kind of a threat to the country or uh, you know, they taking the jobs away from uh, Americans. What are your views on that? Uh, I don't feel that uh, Indians coming to America is any sort of threat to A, jobs, or B, our security at all. I think that it's ludicrous that people suggest that. Um, I think that uh, having higher educated people come into this country is a fantastic thing um, and I think that a lot of countries like India are actually a lot superior to America in terms of their education standards and that that type of it's almost you can think of it as competition um, so having 
you know, somebody who's coming in uh, that has a way higher skill level, that should encourage Americans to step up and want to increase our education and to help foster our education system so that we can compete with the people coming from India. What's your views about that time? I agree with Kaylee. I think that we should definitely encourage people from other country, India especially, who have are so educated and so knowledgeable to come to the United States legally. I don't think that they are um, a threat to us at all. I actually lived in a neighborhood that was predominantly had a lot of people from India and they were fabulous. They were so nice, the most caring, sweet people who always had a smile on their face. So I was never scared. I was very comfortable with them being my neighbors knowing that if anything ever to ha were to happen that I could run to their door and they would help me out. Um, but for the jobs, no. I don't think that they're that it, people from India are coming and taking our jobs. It should be motivation for Americans to do better in school and to pay more attention and to work really, really hard to get the best jobs. Kelly, is there anything else that you want to add about Trump and his administration or uh, to the voice uh, what yeah. anyone would like to hear? Absolutely. Um, so in terms of especially related to the last question that you asked, um, I, so I studied psychology and specifically evolutionary psychology. So I understand that most humans have a predilection to mistrust people who look differently than them. But there are countless studies that show that assimilation of those groups is the absolute best way to overcome racism. And even back in the 60s when schools started to become integrated, uh, that's when we really started to see drops in violence against people who are of another race. Uh, and that's the only way that Americans are going to be able to be comfortable with people who are other races is the same way. So, of course, we should have immigrants from other countries. This is the great American melting pot. And the only way to prevent uh, racism is to assimilate people, or not to assimilate, sorry, that's the wrong word to use, but to, to integrate into the same society and to live alongside another one another. Just like Sam was talking about, she lived in a, a neighborhood with predominantly Indians and she had a fantastic you know impression of them and I think that that's the case of any race who is around each other you know as long as two people are playing for the same team uh, they're going to be on each other's side and so for Trump and his administration to attempt to ins put these walls up and to kind of separate groups I think it's going to have the opposite effect of of what most Americans and people in the world would desire. Would you like to add something on the same, uh, Sam? I definitely want to add it just to clarify. I am not a huge Trump supporter. Um, I voted against Hillary Clinton, and I th really have high hopes for Trump. He's he's not done the right thing, some of the right things that I would want of would have wanted him, wanted him to do since he's been president. But I really want to rally behind him and hope for what's best for our country. And I hope that he can get it together and has some really good advisors and do his best. Thank you. I have one more question for you guys. Sure. If you were a part of his team and his administration, what is that that you would suggest him or what is that you would do for the best of America? Uh, well, I'm in sales, so <laughs> I would attempt to sell him on the fact that uh, the way that he's attempting to ostracize certain groups of people is going to have uh, really poor consequences for the rest of society. And just to kind of help maybe him understand the ripple effect that a lot of those things can have. And the fact that him being in his post and, you know, for example, an elementary school child who hears him say something or hears a tweet that he tweeted on the news, uh, that has severe psychological implications on those children. If, if somebody hears somebody else being racist, they assume that it's okay for them to do that. And him being in the highest position of power in this country, which has a lot of power in the world, and and having this, you know, license to say whatever he wants, I think might kind of engender that type of, you know, privilege on children and cause issues starting from a younger age and just implications that he's not expecting. So I think he should take his role a little bit more seriously. And again, like Sam said, get off the Twitter. Uh, children don't need to be seeing what he thinks about women and, and about people of other races. Barring people from this country is going to cause more problems than it's going to solve. 
I would tell him, this is a completely different topic, but I would tell him he needs to focus on health care, which is a complete disaster for people who have insurance and for people who don't have health insurance. He needs to focus a lot on that, as well as immigration and taxes and those type of things that he's also focusing on. But I haven't heard anything about um, his health care plan and how he's going to fix it. He just keeps saying he's going to do it. Well, okay, everybody's been saying they're going to do it, and nothing's happened. It's just a complete disaster. So if I were part of his team, I would tell him to get off the Twitter and start focusing on health care. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Kelly. Thank, thank you, you for having us on V6 News. Yes, thank you, V6 News.